Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how we can apply an AR down payment, an income and payment to an SAP Business One sales order. And um, part of the reason that you might want to do this is that you may uh, want the convenience of being able to do a deposit on an order right from the order. And the other thing that we may want to do is take a payment that reflects the full amount of what's on the sales order plus the taxes. And as you may know, uh, when you do an AR down payment in isolation without linking it to a sales order in this way, that amount of the down payment and resulting income down payment may only be for the base total of the goods on the document and not the tax um, that will be assessed to the document. So this is a way that you can also include the tax in the total amount of the down payment. So here we have a sales order that we previously created to a customer. We've got an item here with a base price of $37.50, a tax code that's applied to it. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's the base amount of the item. There's a tax of $450 in the item for a grand total of $4,200. So if we go to the ribbon bar at the top of the screen, and we go about dead center in the ribbon bar to this, two coins with the uh, uh, dollar sign on uh, the one coin. Uh, this used to be a sort of a money bag symbol in the older golden thread version of uh, the cockpit, um, but it's the payment means button. It's right here in the middle. So if we click on that, basically what we're doing now is we're doing a deposit on this order. So the screen comes up, deposit on order, and you can choose the tender type that you'd like to do on this particular transaction. And notice how the overall amount is written for $4,200. And in this particular system, we have a, uh, a, ca a discount for paying uh, below terms or a cash discount. So we're going to uh, just zero that discount out so that the amount, in fact, equals the total in our document. And we're also going to, of course, remember to uh, put the total of our payment in here. So I can actually put my cursor in this payment means field and I can click control B and it's just going to enter in the, the total amount so that the transaction balances to zero. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply that payment there and update the sales order. And if I now right click on the sales order and launch the relationship map, I'm going to see that, you know, we've got a sales order, we've got an AR down payment invoice, which we can double click and we can drill into and you can see that you know, base amount is is this, uh, but the total amount of the payment is 4,200. And you can see that it's actually a down payment of 112%. So 100% for the base uh, price for extended totals of the item and the tax must be 12%. So it, it, it essentially does that on the fly for you. And then the resulting incoming payment. And of course the incoming payment, if we drill down and we take a look at it, we can, um, um, go further to drill down into the accounting transactions as well. Okay, so we will go back to the sales order. Now, let's say those, um, you know, those goods were special order and now they've come in and you need to deliver them. We can copy them from the sales order to delivery and then that will deliver the goods. In this case, we're just gonna copy the sales over to, directly to an AR invoice because it will relieve us of the inventory on the sales order document, but it'll also sort of clear out the final invoice. And when we raise the invoice, we see the items on the invoice, and we can also see in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got the base price of the item, the down payment of 4,200 applied, uh, the tax there, and the total balance is zero. And we can click on the dot, 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 and we can see the, the down payment that's being applied to this particular invoice. Now in this case, it automatically chose the down payment number to apply to the sales order because of course that sales order is linked to the resulting down payment that we did previously. So it's not like when you do a down payment invoice in isolation and you actually have to manually you know, go in here and choose to apply it to an invoice. So there you have it. Uh, we've gone from sales order to uh, deposit, AR down payment, incoming payment, final invoice, and we can include the tax uh, so that we don't have to reconcile it at the end of the transaction. So I'll just finish this invoice here and we'll go back to it and we'll right click just to close the loop, 
show the relationship map. There's the sales order. There's the down payment. There's the incoming payment. There's the error invoice. I hope you've enjoyed this free.